What's up guys? Um, welcome to my channel. This is gonna be my very first video up on my channel and um, so we're gonna talk about something I ran into the other day when I went to go buy a can of dip and uh, it's kind of odd. I've never really seen it so I figured you know what why not talk about it see if I can get some answers to my questions or whatnot. Um, the video is going to kind of be short and sweet because I really don't have the storage capacity to put up a freaking 20 minute long video, but I'll buy an SD card so that I can start doing that. Um, so I'm not packing a lip on camera. Like I said, don't really have time to, but what I am dipping today, cover up that garbage warning label, Copenhagen long cut winter green. And, um, I do have like a cold. So if you hear me snorting or, uh, you know, like my voice sounds raspy, that's why. Um, I'm going to try to drink some coffee to keep the raspiness of my voice down, so. Actually, you know what, I think we might get a filler. Um, Odie Green Mud Jug today. What we're spitting in, but let's pack a filler real quick and then we'll get on to this. Yeah, I am a side packer. Usually I'm a top packer, but, I mean, I don't know, I just change it up, so. There we go. Filler. <clears throat> there we go. Front was kind of lacking, so. Okay. For those of you that don't know, that aren't dippers, Copenhagen, every year, about this time, well, I think it started in August, comes out with the Copenhagen camo cans. This is your regular Copenhagen long cut wintergreen can. Okay. I've run into two different kinds of camos. I don't know which one is the new one for this year, so I'm gonna throw them up there. And if you know which one is the new one, let me know in the comments. The first one, and the one I have the most cans for, is this one. Okay. Got your green lettering, you know, kind of a multi-cam design. Then the other day I found this one at my local dude and totem convenience store and I had to have it so I grabbed this one okay now adding on to that anybody that dips or has been dipping for a while knows what a typical US smokeless tobacco tin looks like okay this is your typical US smokeless tin okay stupid warning label okay that's what the side looks like I got this one pretty cheap my buddy lost a bet and so he bought me a five can five cans so I lucked out on that one but tin lid plastic bottom now on the plastic bottom it says guaranteed fresh and um, it's got this ridge right here okay kind of wide printed date and everything I like these tins okay this is what I ran into it's like your typical Copenhagen can right but you'd be wrong because ta -da, look at that we got a sticker Right there that reads, get your free gift at freshcopenhagen.com. Got to be 21 years or older to uh, register. And then the date is printed on this sticker on the bottom. And it's got this narrow, deep ridge right there. There you go. You can see it now. And the plastic seems to be a little bit thinner. So we do a one hand open. It's really easy. You know. And it, it kind of closes weird. Whereas... With the others, like this one, do a one hand open. Okay. You know, it's got kind of a thuddy snap to it, you know. But I've never run into that. Out of all the cans of dip I bought, you know, like here's a skull can, same US smokeless. Garbage dip, by the way. Fuck. Classic wintergreen. Sucks balls. Okay. But same design, okay? I don't know why Copenhagen did it. It's the only can I've ever gotten that's like that. Out of all the straights and stuff that I've bought. Never run into it. So if y'all know, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know um, if it's just for a region or it's a trial or something. Because honestly, I don't like it. I like the uh, the regular tins better. But that's just me. So um, I do like the Grizzly Camo cans. Okay, Grizzly Wintergreen is my other daily dip. Shit. And this is kind of what they look like, okay? And that's the American Snuff Company, right? 
Yeah, American Snuff Company. Ten. I had to make sure because I don't want to give you all any wrong information. But that's my other daily dip. That's usually what I dip. So this is going to be the first video on my channel. It's going to be short and sweet. Um, I'm going to be doing um, prepping stuff, dip talk, dip reviews, and other stuff like that. So just stay tuned, and I hope you all enjoy the videos. Thanks for watching. Adios.